Hi student, today I am going to show you one experiment using copper sulphate and sodium hydroxide. I have already prepared the sodium hydroxide solution here, you can see. Even copper sulphate solution is also ready. So I can show you how the copper sulphate looks like. You can see here the copper sulphate looks like blue crystalline solid. Now I am going to show you one simple experiment. I think this you already you have studied in the chemistry textbook. I am going to take copper sulphate solution first here. take no. yes. now I am going to add sodium hydroxide solution here and observe it carefully what is happening this is now a clear solution it's a homogeneous clear solution now I am going to add sodium hydroxide here drop wise observe it carefully What is happening? Can you see what is happening? You can see some precipitate is forming. This is called gelatinous precipitate. Initially you can see it is top of the solution. If you settle it down if you keep it for a few minutes, it will settle it down. So this kind of precipitate is called gelatinous precipitate. Let me add more sodium hydroxide. You can see now. Let me start it properly. Yeah. Can you see the precipitate is forming here? Initially it was a transparent blue color solution. Now it's no more transparent top of the test tube you can see some precipitate is forming that is whitish blue color or bluish white color now slowly it will settle down i have already done one experiment so that i can show you how it looks like can you see this one all this precipitate has settled down the bottom of the test tube so the same thing is going to happen with the second test tube which just now I conducted. So now do you know exactly what is happening here? So when we add sodium hydroxide in copper sulphate solution, so copper hydroxide forms and sodium sulphate. So copper hydroxide is a whitish bluish colored precipitate which is actually insoluble in the water so it gets precipitated out and sodium sulphate is also forming as a it's one of the product. So this is an, one example of double displacement reaction. I think you have already studied it in the chemistry textbook. And we also can say it is a precipitation reaction because one of the product which is forming that get precipitated out. So I hope you enjoyed the reaction and you can perform this experiment at your home even you can do it in your school in your chemistry lab you can do it and you can see how the double one of the example of double displacement reaction and how it looks now you can see the you can see that which experiment i have done in front of you the precipitate is slowly getting settled down and this one i have done just few minutes before doing the live experiment it's already settled down so this is the copper hydroxide precipitate which looks whitish bluish color thank you for watching this video